Okay. That was that. Let's look at this. Chaotic situation. A figure appears in the... Yeah, yeah. Noise in the factory are getting louder. There are many echoing voices, but... These are not the orderly chanting you've heard before. They're harsh cries and screams. I, uh, assemble. You know. Help paint. Hmm. And let's get some more center dolls. And let's get chameleon. Yep. My bad. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Uh, let's get another one. Let's see who should we get. Oh, Hakate, of course. My original bestie. Out of my favorite sinners. Like both gameplay wise and story wise. She's really nice. Like legitimately really nice to the character. The words wise and sentient doesn't seem too out of place when you used to describe this doll. Fucking <laughs> really? That's what you're gonna use for a chameleon? She is like so over the top sometimes. There's a really good new skin that just came out for her. I really wanna get it, but nah, there's no normal way to get it. You have to like buy it. And the prices for this game are unusually expensive you know the, one of the, the weirdest things there is is that you usually when you sell something you need to ppp it you know um let me just read this and then we'll get into this this is a quiet doll that will accompany you forever yes that is very her personality like um for example like a dollar for a lemonade or something doesn't sound too bad in the US but it sounds like ridiculous here like 50 rupees for that well, fucking 84 rupees for that like that's fucking insane so it's really like it, it would be really expensive no one would buy a lemonade from a lemonade stand if someone sold it at that price so similarly one of the things that is absurd to us is that like in a foreign game like a when they sell this game in the west you know they would say, like the prices for these uh, skins and stuff like that's probably like five dollars ten dollars for more expensive stuff and like bundle packages like twelve dollars so like that doesn't seem too expensive from over there from here it's like ridiculously expensive it's like holy shit like who would the fuck in their right mind would buy something like that? that's one of the reason why they sell this stuff no one really buys them except for maybe the really rich people but i don't other than that i don't think anyone would ever buy them in the right mind like you could even earn well and even then you wouldn't think of buying them like they're ridiculously expensive from our standards one of the reasons why um like they sell games over there like let me look it up 60 dollars right 60 dollars is nearly 5000 rupees uh, in india so a 60 dollar game pretty like very few people would buy them like th that's why the 50 dollar games uh, that is the 60 dollar games that you guys buy over there like most of their prices are usually dropped down to like 2000 or 3000 and like even in sales and stuff they get down to like 1500 or some shit so they're, they're much cheaper here compared to over there so you need to sell stuff in ppp terms and while the video game developers of like pc games have realized that a lot of people in the you know mobile gaming space have not realized that unfortunately so there's that anyway that's the rant let's see what we got oh this is not it this is it a traditional handicraft from the north it's both a toy and a gift usually symbolizes good luck and happiness i've seen these like in japanese horror games and stuff like similar stuff like this let's get into haunted factory sp04 and i'm gonna look it up because i'm not even bothered with like playing this on my own okay i kind of got the general gist of it not in its entirety but still got something so we're gonna use the spray over here this over here get another one of these over here and once that fills up we'll get another one of those down there and speed it up a bit nope not that one this one this is a decent one we'll wait around for a bit more of the points and then we'll get this 
we go. And let me look forward what happens next. Well, there's nothing much after this. We just uh, press this. And this one is going to get destroyed eventually. And I'm gonna get this for now. And get this as well. Because this is going to get destroyed in the middle. Which is unfortunate, but whatever. We need to get those things closer before that. We oh, unfortunate. Uh, we can't really do that just yet. Gonna have to wait. I'm just gonna destroy these. Uh, destroy these. And we'll get one of these. And that should be it. There goes that victory. Yeah, if I had to do these on my own, that would just take unnecessarily long. We have 12 more events to go through. Mm, C. Yeah, C is the last of this. Alright. No, no, let's look at the secret chamber before we move on. What you got? Nothing? Okay. They're all my children. Are you all eavesdropping? Have you finished your work? Uh, quit slacking off! Don't you know what the factory is going through right now? Oh, right. Uh, uh, what are we doing here again? Dumb, Benna! To see Eve! Eve wants to stand up! To stand up! Keep it down. Don't disturb her. Eve's found something she wants to work hard for. <sighs> Good for her. You guys didn't tell her about the factory, did you? Of course not. Bass is smart. Bass didn't say anything. The bosses actually care about Eve a lot, right? They have been taking on such a big burden in silence. After all, she's their child. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Benna. You said that word again. Uh, what word? I, I, I don't remember. Child! Child! You can't mention child! Can't mention child in front of Marissa! You just keep screaming child, alright. Bess, stop talking! Child? Child? My child? Have you seen my child? He was kidnapped! Have you seen him? Child? Child? Marissa, calm down! It's us! Bess, go get the medicine! Run, Bess! Run, Bess! My child! My child! What happened? Why are you all gathered here? Nothing. Benna mentioned that word again. Bass went to get the medicine. But Bass is back already. So soon? Where's Marissa's medicine? No medicine! There are bad guys! Bad guys! Run, Eve! Bad guys? Did the factory get attacked or something? Oh, maybe a money lender or something? That's interesting. That is very interesting. It was like money lenders and the parents were like working overtime, not talking to her to get the money together. Let's look at the exquisite toy. Uh, Eve is working hard on her rehabilitation. The factory is everyone's new home. Only the nesting doll mother Marisa seems to have not found her child yet. So Eve is rehabilitating. So is that like Eve is not born handicapped? Maybe she was like got into an accident or something? And she's like rehabilitating and getting out like of that chair? Because that's interesting. Wish. As you get closer to the truth, danger spreads to each every inch of the factory. Alright. Sometimes this happens when I'm inventing little gadgets. When I really, really want to make it. When my will is strong enough, it's like there's a force helping me. Those seemingly impossible experiments all succeeded in the end. She should work with Rolaika. Yurika puts on her homemade roller shoes and runs around the factory with you in her arms, telling you about her discoveries. Pepper trails behind mindlessly. Many times, the successes couldn't be explained scientifically. I later chalked them up to... Mm, 
there's a saying. Uh, what was it? Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, that sounds about right. <laughs>